Hey Stampers, it's Gainer again. Um, I know you saw me make the album yesterday and the day before, but I want to do a little one for beginners and who may not have many supplies. Um, so the, this one is done with a packet of DSP, uh, just a normal packet of DSP, but it's quite thick. Um, you need something with a bit of substantial weight behind it like these are really really thick papers and I think these are 200 GSM and using the cardboard off the back as believe it or not as well me and my sister used to make these when we were kids out of wallpaper uh, and what I've been learning with all the different folds and flaps and you know all the little interactive things inside I've added that as well so I've chosen those papers I've I am going to use this one as uh, my cover, so I'm going to put that one to one side and I'm using six sheets, but you only get minimal waste as well. So you've got the double sided, but you only get to see one side, so choose the sides you want. So I'm choosing this uh, and this one. I love the stars on that, but I've got sailboats, but I've got sailboats further on, no stars. I've got anchors on this one and flowers. I could have had anchors and boats on this one, but I decided to go for the little whales. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the flowers or the anchors. I think I might have the flowers. And then I've got the sailboats there. Absolutely adorable. Or you could have that. It's entirely up to you. Uh, and then this is the cardboard off the back. And what I've done is taken off all the, the little things and made sure that there's no stickers on there. So you're going to, let me show you my sample one. And I was sent a bag full of charms to do with the sea by the gorgeous Fiona Mollinson. And I can't thank her enough because I found some of this meshing oops, in my uh, ribbons container and it's sticky. I haven't glued this on, it just literally stuck on. So I've added glue dots, but you could add little... Um, use this silver th thread and just have them dangling off or just make a, a charm but this is just and it's quite solid you know for it's only the, this and this is only the board that come off the back of this the other designer series paper which are used in this one and this is sea themed it's got a beautiful mermaid here and this you will hold up to 40 photographs and I know I cut I made it slightly bigger and now I'm going to do it exactly the same size just so I don't have that overhang and I added these after but we're going to add these before so we can hide them behind so that's the first page you could get one two three four five six seven eight photographs on the first page turn it over you could have one large one or two small ones so there's ten eleven 12, 13, 14. You could also disguise them. These are stick on magnets that I found to save you using um, my little ones. So, what was that? 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Like I say, even 15 and 16 if you don't mind covering your magnets. Uh, and then 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, and we're just using the designer series paper. We've got a belly band here, 23, 24, 25, and I've put a little charm down there to stop that falling all the way through. So that's 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Again, 30, 31, 32, 33. 34, 35, 36, 37, and then you've got 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and maybe even, you know, some up there. And again, I've just used that little magnet, because even when it's sitting upright, there it is. You could add photos on the front, you could add photos on the back, you could even add photos down the spine. So for one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven sheets of DSP and the back of your DSP 
you've made yourself your very first little album. Like I say, me and my sister used to make these out of wallpaper. We used to nick my mum's leftover wallpaper. You know, she was doing decorating. We made, we covered our books for school in it and everything. Um, you don't have to have six pages. You could have five, you could have four, you could have ten. It depends on the width, how wide you want it. But to get it all from one sheet of this, I recommend just six, five or six, plenty. But this is perfect for beginners to learn how to make little albums. It's adorable and it's so simple to make. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Yeah, so I've got it in purple, light purple, green. I've just found some cream, grey and blue. So I reckon, and it's, it looks like fishing net. That's why I used it on the this one. So seven sheets. We're going to use it all. Except for a few strips, you'll let it be left up. And you could also turn them into bookmarks. So, and I think it took me about an hour to make the whole thing. Um, but, I don't, well, it might have not taken that long, but I've lost my trimmer. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Losing my trimmer. So, I'm just going to, I'm going to cut our card first. So, I'm going to cut this. I'm the, all your pieces are going to be seven, so I'm cutting this to seven and one eighth. And you want these by five and a quarter. Is it five and a quarter or is it five and a half? Oh, five and a quarter, yeah, because your pages will be five and a quarter. So you want one. Two. And you don't need that bit. And then this one, you want this at seven and one eight. And that's the only piece you'll have spare. And you want this at three inches. So that's your spine. These are your outer covers. And then this is just waste. So now with your papers, Pick the orientation because we're going to cut seven up and it's going to be by 11. So bang on seven. Don't throw these because we're going to use all those. And then we're going to take this down to 11. You, these are the only strips you'll have left. If you want to turn them into bookmarks or something, you can, but it's not worth it. So Again, it doesn't matter with this one, but I am going to keep the orientation on the back just in case I change my mind. In fact, I'm going to do two at a time. We'll be here forever otherwise. So, seven. Keep these pieces by 11 and like I say you're not good you're getting minimal waste so one two more make sure you keep your orientation the right way there we go seven keep those by 11 The last one. And there's no orientation with this one, so it doesn't matter. You keep your flaps by 11. And then, oops, that's on that side. With your cover, I'm having this as my cover, and then I'm going to have this as the spine cover on the outside that's so all i did on the other one was reverse the paper so these need to be seven I'm just going to cut this down to seven by five and a quarter if we need to take a, a couple of bits off that we will 
and I was so there's the outer pieces and then the oh let's get anchors on Ooh. doesn't matter if they're running that way does it hmm. right is that the same length yeah what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just cut this down to 11 Because that can go, I can swap this out now for one of these, and I'm going to swap it for this one. So these are going to be my covers on the front and back, and this is going to be the spine. But I'm not going to waste all this neither. So this needs to be seven. I'm going to keep this piece. By the same width. Do not chop this down. It's got to be five inches because you want an overhang. If you can just see, I've got an overhang of an inch. You've got the three and then an inch that side. So don't cut that piece down. So that needs to just be seven by five, uh, seven by five. We're going to need this again shortly, so I'm going to just pop it. In fact, I can use my guillotine for the rest now. Grab your Simply Scored. And then on all your long pieces, try, use the large end. Don't use the small because it, it can go through. And you're just going to score these at five and a quarter and five and three quarters. And pop that to one side. And you're going to do that to all six pieces. So five and a quarter, five and three quarters. Five and a quarter, five and three quarters. It's mad what you dream about, isn't it? And I, after making the album and finishing it off yesterday, I was such it all. And then last night I went to bed and I lay in there talking to Mr. B. Five and a quarter, five and three quarters. And I was, he was asking me about the album because he, he's, when he's playing his game, he's not interested. But after he's finished, he does get involved. So five and a quarter and five and three quarters. That's all we're going to do with those. Yeah, and I said, it, I was telling him about the ones me and my sister used to make out of wallpaper as kids. So, <coughs> these are hardboard. I'm going to suck put them to one side because we're going to need them shortly and you're just going to fold and burnish your edges I'm going to show you an easy way to attach them but we're going to add all our flaps to these before we do you're going to get what you want on there let's just make sure that is joining Better. Why is that not that much better? Yeah, I'm going to show you a real easy way to pop them in your spine, glue everything together. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, because these are becoming your spine and they're going to get glued together. like that and they're all going to be exactly so this is making the spine as well and we're just strengthening it with the cardboard you can use chipboard if you want a really really strong hold but for a beginner i think this cardboard uh, chip the cardboard one would be perfect pity we don't see the pattern on both sides And that's the last one. So at this point you need to decide what page you want first. And I don't think it really matters, but I've got a theme going on. I've got white. Oops, I got blue. 
and then I've got pink and then I've got white and pink I suppose uh, blue and then I've got that navy one then but if you put all those pages together and push down you'll see that is your spine so we've got blue 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 pink pink <laughs> so right now we're gonna we're gonna pop them to one side because I'm gonna make sure we do this properly so you can choose to keep these that size if you want we are going to be using a scoreboard uh, I'll use the trimmer because we can score and trim at the same time so I'm going to flip them over because I'm going to we're going to attach on our first page so this I'm going to have as a contrast so I'm going to take this down to it is five by four and a half so you're literally getting little minimal bits away if you want to save these and do a card you're more than welcome to do so so let me just there's no orientation here either and I'm just gonna score this at half inch don't press on too hard with your trimmer and then we can attach that at the back so you won't even see your flaps whereas I attached everything afterwards but this time we're going to attach together so when we glue all everything together all these little tabs will be hidden away behind so I'm just going to get my wet glue and just make sure it's not clogged Perfect. Once I see glue coming out of there, so I'm just gonna grab my flap. Don't get it on the wrong side, Gainer. But I just thought this would be a great thing to do with kids as well. So I'm looking here so I can centralise that piece of card. Push it up to score roughly the same and then I can just adhere that down this will all be hidden then behind the flaps you know when you rush into there you go so look it looks like a continuous piece of paper minus the sides so I'm going to have and if you want then you want to use your corner rounder you can do it while it's attached Even if you want to put some of those lovely little fancy edges on. It's entirely up to you. You could use uh, a border punch. I think that is just so sweet. I did use most of this on there. So again, because we haven't got much on there, we can borrow something off here. I'm going to have I'm going to have those. So I'm going to cut these down to four and a half and four and a half. Let me just what's the width? I know it's five. Uh, by three so I'm going to move that out of the way I'm just going to make oh no I scored that at one I meant to do that at half sorry score it at half and then half again Just gonna 
rub that line out. And then I'm just going to fold these that way. Yep, that way and that way. And we're going to do a little side tuck spot. So I can hook that one under there. And then this one I'll just have to glue down. And because it's a little tuck spot, no one will see it. So just going to stick right to this edge, but I don't want to go over the seam. And then I can just, oh I needed that to come down a little bit, let me just move that down a touch. That's better. Use your bone folder now. And then we can Idea that little flap down. You don't have to do something on every page like I did, or every opening. You could just leave it all blank. And so we've got a little side tuck spot now. So let me grab some of those bits I just put in the bin. It's just to show you that you know you can store tags in there. You know. I'm not going to leave them in there obviously but I make sure that is not folded so that's what you can do there and if there's any leftover sheets at the end well, there will be a few I use them as their photo mats then to tuck in so that's my first page our flaps will be hidden I'm going to pop that to one side now and we're going to work on this one so I've got my flaps um, I'm going to just have a flap either side for this one. So I'm going to just put my glue lid on. It's starting to ooze out for some reason. Does that every now and then. So these are, it's five and a quarter. So I want five and three quarters on one. And, oh, my, I can get two off this one. There we go, because we left these at six. So again, minimal. And I'm just going to score these half inch. And you can now decide. I'm going to turn them the opposite ways. And then they're going to have... They're going to be like there and there, little flaps, so you can have extra photos on. And they're going to round up the corners. I'm only going to round the corners this time. You could add little charms to these. And then when we put these in, We'll open up and you'll extend this paper. Again, you can centralise these. I'm just going to turn this over. That way I can... There's my bone folder, there it is, hiding. Make sure I've got that really burnished and tucked up right close. I've got my gap either side. And just give that a good burnish. Right, you watch, yay, perfect. So, and we're going to have another one this side. My anchors. Oh, it's going to be the wrong way. No, we can rectify that. Just don't worry. Score that half inch this way. I'll just remove that line. 
and then I just round the corners off again. Otherwise, this one would have been up, upside down. the other way it's that way that's better so when I open this now it's continued so look at my glue it's going nuts this time flat and I'm going to push this all the way down and that is level so if we wanted to get funky because we've got a little flap on there I'm just going to score that a half inch and make it match so there's our two little flaps aren't they cute so there's page Pages two and three. Pop that down. Then we've got our beautiful stars. So, um, gainer, gainer, gainer. Oh, look at this. I'm going to have to release that cap. Oh. Just needs the air. It's because it's running low. Just pop that pin in there. So we've got sailboats, and I'm going to cut this to five, and this one to five, and then we're going to turn this and score at half inch half inch and then we're going to have two little flaps coming down either side with a little gap either side as well ah I've done it again <laughs> we sailboats I tell you what, I'm just going to turn them round because the stars doesn't matter which way they run and it's nice to have a contrast so we're going to have two more photo mats on either side of there so we're just going to give them a little a quarter inch gap grab my glue Don't worry about too much about getting all this covered because these are going to get glued onto each other anyway. So again, this would be something fun you could do with your grandkids on the weekend or when you've got time, uh, when they have got, when you're giving them a, and you've got them for a few hours to entertain them. And if you wanted to make them a bit more substantial. Like I say, use thicker chipboard. Just going to put that burnish down. And then we've got two more felt old mats and flaps. Perfect. So that's that one done. And we're now onto this one, and I'm going to create a pocket for this one. So I'm going to cut this at six and a quarter. by four and then we're just going to score this in the right three places one two and three because that way you will see my anchors are the right way now chop off the 
corner. Do you know, I can't, there it is. I couldn't see it on that line then. Burnish these score lines. And while we're here, I'm just going to check that that is five. I think that should be okay, actually. Uh, no, I need that to be five by five. So when it's done, it will slide in to my little pocket and sit in there. You can do some fancy edging on that. on all four sides like that, I wonder what happened there so we're keeping our, you know, spare minimum I mean you could keep these to make cards so I'll show you, I've got a few others there so now for this I'm going to have that on this side and I'm just going to use glue because I've got wiggle space. I'm having shot, aren't I? So I'm just lining this up at the very bottom and close to that score line. Seems to. As long as I can close that, as as that, yeah, that's fine. Look at that. I can fold that over. Perfect. And that way, even beautiful. Oh, it's hanging over a little touch. I don't know why that is because. That is five and a quarter as well. Or oh, Gainer's got to investigate that. Our sheets are five and a quarter. Yes. Oh. I don't know what's happening there. I might have to trim that actually now and then just glue inside because I can't have it hanging over. That's strange because all the others are fitted with those measurements. So I get those out of the way. And I'm just going to add a line of glue. Oh, I know what I did. I should have wrapped that one round, shouldn't I? Doesn't matter. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> and then we've got this contrasting card that will not go in now because I've cut it too short. Because I've had to trim that off. So I'm just going to trim that off. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, so we've got a photo mat there, there, and here, and on the back. And we can leave this side for photos. Now we're on to this one with the sailboats. It's just adorable. And I'm going to score these at half inch. these don't go with them but I, I just think they're so cute I've done that again Gainey you've done it at the wrong end you need to do it at the bottom 
because these are going to go on here now. This way and this way. We're going to line them up. And we're going to glue them into place. sure they're still lined together. Yay, they're running the right way now. Perfect. And then I've got some then just these they're cheap and horrible but they're not they'll do their job <laughs> cheap and horrible and there's self-adhesive on the back but I'm just going to add a little blob of glue and then I'll take the back off of that one and I'll add a blob of glue And then I will just close that over and then that will set itself shortly. It will dry clear. I've had them magnets since I started crafting and they just, they're okay for little things like this but they're not the best at all so isn't that perfect. So oh, that's that page done and now we're on to our last one. So let's just have a look. Now I'm going to turn this into a belly band so let me just check my measurements. So from that score it is five and a quarter. So if I cut this six and a quarter and score this at half an inch on both sides oh. and then just chop this down to three inches one of them is going to get a deer in here and the other one is going to get a deer over there so See, it's perfect that time. Shave ends. And then that's going to be a whole belly band. So that's the only flap you'll see inside here. We'd fill these with paper, lined paper. We'd have to sneak it out of our school books from the centre so it didn't look like there was pages missing. And we used to play for hours, me and my sister, word games and stuff like that. You know, under the bedclothes. <laughs> We'd have to, uh, you pick a letter, you pick a, an alphabet. Someone would say the alphabet in their head. The other one would say, stop, whatever the letter they stopped on. We had to find a girl's name, a boy's name, an animal, a country and something else I can't remember with that initial we used to play that for hours me and my sister and then we'd score each other pints while we were doing it we used to share a double bed oh I might use this flap on another piece in there that I've missed off so I'm just going to keep that to one side I've got these beautiful papers left and I'm going to take these down to five inches both of them another spare piece and I want this one down to five inches also so yeah there's not much waste here at all we're going to finally move that I'm going to round off the corners I'm 
I mean, if you got the same, if you got a different name than my sister, you get five point, uh, ten points. And if we have the same name, you only got five points because we thought of it together. <laughs> and they're going to go in here, just as photo mat, and I'm going to have two. And with that other little piece. I'm gonna save that one for another belly uh, for another belly band. Oh that didn't cut very well. Oh well there's something wrong with that. That's better. So we've got two beautiful photo mats in there and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one towards the bottom and one towards the top. And then just go back, see what we've got. We've got that little top spot there. That's my first page. We've got our gorgeous little flaps there. We've got top and bottom flaps on that one. We have, oh, there we go. We have a pocket and a out photo mat there so on this let's just have a look at this one we've got that enclosure on there and then what we're going to do with this one I'm just going to turn that around so it looks like the ocean so I'm going to to tuck that under there so this is the last piece now and then we can start building our album how quick was that is flowing again. So I'm just going to try and keep that in the middle. Beautiful. And then we can adhere that flap down. those pieces these are the only few strips that I've got left so that's not bad at all to make this album I'm gonna need this glue again in a moment but I'm just gonna stick the pin in it just whilst I'm waiting so now we've got our pocket there and where's that other piece I had here it is. Oh, I best round the edges off. I don't know what it is with me and albums. Just that I just like making them. And then that can go into that lovely little pocket there. And if it pulls through like the other one did on the other one, I can put, look at all these beautiful charms. Absolutely stunning. There's a shell. There's a little frog. There's turtles. There's, you know, just look at that stingray. Uh, oh, what's that one? It's two seals with balls. A crab. I can have that little crab there. I want one where the... That one, I think, would stop that page from falling out. We're going to be using some more of those in a minute. Uh, have you ever seen glue dots like this? Weird. Now I've run out of my others. 
So I've picked that glue dot off. And I'm just going to stick that there as a stopper. So that won't go down any further. So we've got activity going on in all sides of this now. We just have to put it all together now and pop it in our... So what you're going to need... I am going to be using this face down because I'm going to add my designer series papers with a little tiny border or I might just glue it right onto the edge and then trim off so that is the one that's going around the spine these are going to get glued ah that's why it's shorter Oh, that's perfect. I, I'm going to attach these and then I'm going to trim so I know I've got it bang on. So, use your glue. Because I cut them an eighth of an inch bigger, but the same width. Because we can always take away. Take that off later with I'll use the guillotine. And this is the back. And it says on there sure sure thing. So again we're gonna glue that down. Plenty on. Perfectly lined. So this is my front and back cover. I'm just going to grab my guillotine for a second and I'm going to trim off that little, accent, a little bit of excess. that one so they're perfectly lined up now there they are the front and back of my album and they're exactly the same height as my pages but first of all I'm going to set them to one side now you're going to need your spine so pick your first page this is my first one, isn't it? Yeah. So, that needs to be stuck on there. So we're just going to glue. All the way along. Plenty on. And I'm just going to sit that right along that edge. And it's just so it's right along that edge. You can't, you don't want to, there we go. You want it perfect, right along that edge. Use your bone folder. Again, if we've cut that a little bit too much, we can trim that off and then what I want you to do is fold it over and burnish it that way as well because the pages need to open both ways so what do we say white blue 
and then the two pinks. So again, we're going to glue along the edge and then we're going to sit it and then we're, oh, it's just going to work out perfect. So these are half inch and a six, so it's three inches in total. You need this though now to be oh, wait there, top bottom, that's right. So squeeze it so your rim is down flat, line it up perfectly with that edge, butt it up nice and close. And then burnish both ways. And that page then is lined up perfectly with that one, or it should be, well it is, it's because of that flap. And now you can just glue those two pages together. They're exactly the same on the pages, it's that little flap it is that's poking over the top. And then burnish both ways. Make sure we give them a good sticking down. I don't know why that's over, because they're all cut the same size. So again, we're going for white, blue, pink. I'm going to go for this pink. So this has got to be butted right up close. Plenty of glue. close tight Got glue on my fingers making sure that's pushed right up there and that you can open it and fold it both ways these are joined now and then you need to join these two up as well And give them a good look at Make sure you can fold them both ways. Perfect. And we've got we've got now if we've used two inches up on one, two, three. We've got one, two, three left. One. Two. And three. So you've got half inch strip. It's just right for each of those. Perfect. Which one is next? This one. Did we say white again? Yeah, we did. And then again. Twitch in my eye. Just checking my battery, that's fine.
oops, I've done that wrong now. So, so again, just butt that up really close and level. Lay that down. Shame you got to hide these papers, I know, but perfect. I mean, you could leave them open, you don't have to attach, but this is where it gets its strength from. One always looks shorter than the other. <laughs> Oops, oh, crikey. Make sure you fold both ways. Give me a little stopper and a cute, love it. So, another one going in. Just enough for the last one to go right on the end there. Perfect. So again, glue these two sides together. two pieces that went together. <laughs> Good burnish. And just keep checking your pages now that you can open them full width both ways. And then these are going to get attached to our covers just like so. And then you're going to see the difference then between the two. Perfect. We'll do that one in a minute. I'm just going to get our last page in now. Huh? Flip that over. together again and you get lots of strength and we filled it as we've been going along and like I said you could do this and use hardboard 
really thick chipboard and turn it into a full on out because it's this like with these two pieces of paper being stuck together the way they are and the 200 GSM that's 400 GSM that's stronger than any card stock you would put together again rub them down I'm going to add tiny little charms on them so it looks like doors more photo mats there and I think there's a little bit of extra in this one so that's our back page now we can attach doesn't matter which way because they're both exactly the same you want to make sure they are level and that you glue that paint perfectly into place so I'm going to use the chipboard this time Where's my, I uh, know, oh it's, it's just for t uh, quickness now. I'm just going to use this two ounce bottle. Oh, I know. Oh, shavings. Look how much is on there. quickness <laughs> so making sure you haven't got it the wrong way around just maneuver that into place and then you can lay that down it's not even hanging over the top That now is attached to your back page. You pull that forward, making sure you don't want to go. Oh, you've got, I've gone over the edge there. It doesn't matter though, I don't think. It's still going to open and close. So I've got to attach this one gently now, again. to squeeze too hard as I do the legs out. Making sure you've got this the right way round. Just maneuver that into place. And that's why you wired. You wired it like that so the cut chipboard was laid flat, not like I have done there. Like that. Oh, well, mind you, that one's the same as well. Look. So my album is folding both ways. Perfectly. Right now, you need. To put your spine on. Let me just make sure. Have I got that upside? Yeah, that's right. One of them's upside down. Oh no! Oh, silly sausage. It needs to come off. Is that too? Oh, it's gonna rip. No, I don't. Need to touch more glue under there, but. It's one the back page is on upside down, so I'm a silly sausage for brushing. It shouldn't be though. That's the right way. It's my front page that's on upside down. Ah, oh, dozy mare. Yes. That's my front page. It's on upside down. I'll have to just uh I did that on purpose. <laughs> Wait, there we need the glue. 
So what you're going to do now is you're going to just rest this and you're just going to pinch where you want it. Either, you want about an inch either side. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to score it at one inch and four inches. Because I know my spine is three and I want one inch gap all the way side. So I've burnished those. Oh, I can't believe I did all that beautiful work. And then I go and put the last piece on upside down. I'm a silly sausage. And that page is oh, ruined. <laughs> so that will now fold around there. There is a little bit of a gap because I left this piece a little bit wider. You want to make sure you glue that now into place. I'm not using that one again. It comes out too fast. <laughs> there we go. So back to the little bottle. I'm going to start from the back. even either side. Flip that over and then what we're going to do, you're going to glue in there. And by pin. Glue to this place, heat sealer, pipe, cases of eight. <laughs> oh, why does it clog up halfway through? Just gonna fold this last page down. That burnish now. And this is where it gets nice and stiff. <laughs> no matter which way I turn, it's upside down. So there is. It's nice and stiff now it's gone. Just making sure. Beautiful. And then I've got, well luckily I've got some of this beautiful netting. And it's like a tape. The other one was sticky. Yeah, look, it's, it looks like. It reminds me of, uh, I'm not going to use that one, I'm going to use the queen. It reminds me of fishing net. I can find the end. Well, well, I can't find the end. It 
this might have dried. I think that one's dried. So let's have a look, see if we can find the end on here. My fingers covered in glue. Ah, oh, there. Right. Let me just put the lid on that. I don't need glue for this netting. And that's why I, I wrapped it down the sides because it reminded me of fish netting. A good way to describe my upside down paper as well there. Isn't that cute? Cut the excess off. And then just rub your hand over it. Look at that, it's brilliant. Cut this end bit off. And that's why I adhered the charms in there, as if the fishermen had just pulled their nets up and caught those fishes in their net. Oh, I'm so sorry it's upside down, girls, but it's the right way round on the back. So sticky. I think it's got resin on. I don't mind them sticking to my book, and it's lovely. Oh, I can't believe that. I should stuck that on upside down. Dozy mare. And then you could add some trinkets on the front or on the back. And let's let me just pop these out of the way. And then we can go through. So we've got this, we've got space there for a photo. You've got you'll be able to put a top mat in there with a photo so one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, uh, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Maybe some small ones there. 29, 30. And then 31, 32, 33, 34. And even that's upside down. 35, <laughs> 36, 37, 38. I don't know. So we've got two of them. So that's 42, 44, 46, 47, and then the back itself, 48, 49. You could add some on the front and back and down the spine, like I'm saying. So, the only thing wrong now with this album is my front cover. <laughs> Everything's perfect. I made sure everything was in right, and then I go and stick that page in. Upside down. <laughs> but I'm going to have to love and leave you now because my battery's just died to death. So, I'd love a thumbs up and a share. Please don't forget to press the subscribe button. And I'll, uh, yeah. But as long as you don't put the pages in the wrong way around, you'll have yourself to a lovely album. So until next time, I do love you all. Thanks for watching and sticking with me. Bye.